Hi friends, it's Katie with Dashing Dish, and today I'm gonna to share a message that's really near and dear to my heart, which is how to break free from the diet mentality. And this will be a series of videos because I believe that it's pretty deep. There's so many different areas to touch on, and so I'm gonna break it up into a few different videos. Uh, but I wanna, first of all, share why this message is so near and dear to my heart. And that's because I have not only been in the health and wellness industry, for about 10 years now, I started as a registered nurse and then made my way full-time to Dash and Dish. So I have seen a lot of different things in this 10-year period of time relating to diets. And what I mean by diets is not just you know the things we think of that are like uh, low carb or low fat or anything like that, but also just the mentality behind food. So I'm talking about um, you know good foods or bad foods, all of that. I believe really weighs in on, especially as women, how we view food, how we view our bodies, and really a lot of it comes back to the size that we are, the weight that we are, how we view our bodies, and it kind of all is correlated. And so I'm going to share today from my personal experience, but also working with women for uh, just about 10 years now on how to break free from this diet mentality and what I've learned over the years. So first I'm gonna start by sharing a little bit about my background and my testimony as it pertains to a dieting mentality myself. Really, it goes all the way back to when I was 14 years old. Um, if you haven't heard my story, my testimony with eating disorders, really it started when I was about 14 and I moved to a new town. I was young and naive. I didn't really know who I was. I didn't know, you know, how to find my identity and worth in Christ. And so I just kind of bought into whatever people were telling me. Um, as many young girls and young women do, I uh, was looking for validation from my peers and from everyone around me. And so on the, my very first day of school in a brand new town, we had just moved, I was looking for someone to sit with at a lunch table and this boy came up to me and handed me a note and said, in case you don't know, this is what you look like. I opened up the letter or the note and it was a picture of a very grotesque, um, overweight girl and it looked absolutely nothing like me. There was no truth to it whatsoever. But I took that one picture and I received it as truth and I internalized it. Suddenly it was like my eyes were open to you know my body in a whole new way and I became almost obsessed with losing weight and um, having the ideal perfect body and so what I did was I was um, you know just kind of feeding off of different things I had heard maybe you know someone said to me you know or I heard someone say don't eat bread because it, it makes you gain weight or I would see commercials on you know different uh, diets and, and products that were low fat because I think that was the trend probably at the time and so I started to cut out anything that I could think of or that I had heard would make you overweight. And um, that eventually spiraled all the way into eating disorders, which started with anorexia and progressed to bulimia until I was 18 years old. When I was 18, actually on my 18th birthday, my two sisters came up to me with tears streaming down their faces and basically had an intervention with me and said, Katie, we know what you're doing and um, you're hurting us so much to watch you hurt yourself. And at that moment, we prayed together and thank God I come from an amazing family and um, the beliefs in the power of prayer. When we prayed, I believe that God set me free from eating disorders. On the inside, though, I still had so much that needed to be healed and restored. And I had so much that I still had to learn about, really, what is healthy when it comes to food? What does a good, balanced, healthy view of food in your body look like? And so that took me a few more years after the fact, after we said that prayer together. And it really wasn't until I was in my 20s and I started nursing school and I started really getting in the kitchen and learning how to cook for myself that I found that healthy place. So the reason why I share that um, you know, part of my testimony is because I can tell you that during those years, even from about 18 to 25 of really exploring for myself, I still had a lot of wrong mentalities when it came to food in my body. And it really wasn't until I fully found, um, you know, not only restoration and healing in the Lord and found my identity in Christ, 
but also found the practical knowledge that I needed. And I truly can say that I was set free from all dieting mentalities. So do I say that I know it all and that I figured it all out? No, I'm absolutely learning on a daily basis myself. I'm learning right along with all of you. But I say that to say that God has taught me a lot over the years and I've gained a lot of knowledge. And so I hope that what I have to share with you today is encouraging and is also helpful in um, you know, walking out your own freedom in your own journey to health.